Today I'm going to show you one of the easiest coverage defense you can start using right now in Madden 24 to be able to lock down most of your opponents, especially those kind of players that are running tight sets, whether it be tight sets half back week, tight offset, tight, tight, uh, regular tight, uh, whatever. If they're running any kind of compression set, it's a pretty good little coverage defense uh, for that. Now this is going to be out of the nickel 3-3 cub. If you want to get my entire nickel 3-3 cub off, or uh, defensive ebook, join the Patreon. We've got everything in there. We've got over 15 offensive and defensive ebooks in the Patreon right now. Guarantee it's going to help you become a better Madden player. We also have a really cool blitzing ebook in there that will teach you how to blitz out of every formation in the game. So if you want to check that out, the link is going to be down in the description. Again, it's only 10 bucks to become a member. So for coaching adjustments, what I like to do when I want to play some zone really quick, I think this is a really underrated uh, tip. Ball and air defense, put that on swap ball. That's going to help you stop. Um, the swat animations this year are really good. So I really like swap ball. Option defense conservative, but really the key to this is we're going to have our zone coverage set to match, but we are going to put our uh, our curl flats here. We're just going to put those on five. And what you're going to notice with this uh, strategy is it is going to basically disable match coverage to a degree, but your zones are still going to play smarter uh, with having the match coverage on. And then we're going to put cover four show two in our audibles. We're going to come out of nickel three, three, cover four drop, and we're going to audible down to cover four show two. Now, what we can do with this is we can do a lot of different things with our quick shading, which I'll get to in just a second. But my favorite basic tip for this is we're going to put our outside cornerback on the wide side of the field. We're going to put him in an outside third. We're going to put our safety in the wide, on the wide side of the field into a middle third. And then I like to blitz my user. From there, we can pretty much adjust this however else we want. One of my favorite adjustments is to put this linebacker on the left side in a vertical hook and then basically crash your line out. And this is a great little drop eight coverage defense. Um, you're going to be able to cover up a lot of stuff. Now, uh, one of the most popular route combos in the game right now is basically some type of, you know, mesh or some kind of version of mesh like this. This is going to do a really good job of locking that up because we got those curl flats on five yards and we have this underneath vertical hook. So you see these drags are going to get taken away. I just basically have to use the post route with my user and we're going to be able to take that away as well. One of the other really cool pieces of this coverage defense is, is what happens if your opponent, for example, maybe tries to run some type of like flood concept to the right side. Whenever you're running this defense, when you put that wide side cornerback on a outside third and that wide side safety on a middle third, then what's going to happen is we're basically going to be playing cover three to the wide side and cover four to the short side. So if they try to run any kind of corner route from a compressed set to the wide side of the field, you're going to notice here that this is going to do a really good job of taking that away. And a lot of that is because we are understanding the alignment, the grids that zones are based off of. Outside thirds do a really good job when you run an outside third to the wide side of the field. Let me give you another example of this. I'm just going to respot the ball, and we're going to show you a flood concept uh, to the wide side of the field with a good fade or clear out streak. So same basic uh, principle here, but now we're going to have the flood play, and we're going to run this set. This is one of my personal favorite plays, and what you're going to see against any kind of tight set Another thing that's really underrated, too, about this coverage show is you'll see how we'll adapt this. So we're going to run our cover four. We're going to run that to the short side, right? So we're going to outside third the cornerback on the left. We're going to middle third the safety on the left. And then we still have that vertical hook. The beauty of that vertical hook is it means that our user only has to really basically play like a hook curl and a mid-read defender over the middle of the field. And the other thing about 3-3 Cub that makes this good is it brings the safeties down into the box. So you have a better chance at stopping any kind of post route. What you're going to see is if they try to run this flood concept to the left side, that corner route is not really going to get open. And then those purples, you see they're doing a really good job. Another thing you can do with this and still get kind of the same result is you can shade underneath. By shading underneath, what that's going to do is it's going to make that yellow zone play a little bit more aggressive on any kind of underneath route. And then you're also going to be playing hard flats, which um, are really good for stopping any kind of drags or anything like that. There you see there's that outside third, and you see he's running right into that player. I just got to click onto that corner, and I can swat the ball uh, pretty easily like that. The last route combo I want to show you is one of the most popular route combos from Madden 23 that is kind of carried over into Madden 24, and that is the slant post concept where they're basically going to run a, a route combo like this. The beauty of this play um, is these vertical hooks this year do a really good job of kind of reading and reacting and you're also rolling into a cover three. So what you're going to see here is we're going to just take this slant route right over here. You see that that sharp cutting post is getting matched by 
that inside quarter in the deep blue zone, and that vertical hook is also drifting back uh, to be able to cover something like that. So the beauty of this defense is it's a very simple setup. You're not going to get quick snapped. And you see that these matching, these quarters, they match in, even with zone drops on, they're going, they're not going to match like they would out of cover four quarters. Cover four quarters is completely broken right now. I wouldn't recommend running it. But when you do this, by putting those five yard curl flats, we can now shade our, ourselves down into hard flats. And the beauty of this is these will do a really good job. You'll see here, they see how they just match those post routes, take that away. And it allows you to use her underneath. Now, if you wanted to send a blitz from this, one simple setup that I like to do is we'll play cover four to, we'll basically turn this into a cover six. So we're going to put a hard flat and then we're going to have a, a third or a, I apologize, a deep half. This is a really good coverage shell as well. And we're going to be able to send some pressure. So if they send everybody on a route, we know that we're going to get pressure. And this is a really simple defense that will give you pretty much instantaneous success in Madden. You're going to play really good defense with this. And the beauty of this is you can literally cross apply this to anything and you're pretty much bomb proof. You're not going to get bombed over the top. The read and react AI is going to do a really good job. You'll see here again, I run a post route. See how these quarter zones and these thirds, when you put them on the field, they really do a good job of matching, especially because we have our zone coverage set to match. If you're on next, if you're on uh, current gen, you'll already have that. Um, but I really like this coverage defense a lot. I think it will help you get more stops in Madden. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to get my entire 3-3 Cub defensive ebook, join the Patreon today. It's only $10 to sign up. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.